So let's start with the origin. Both the mics, the Spirit and the origin, are structurally the same. So if we do the technical side of it first, um, we wanted to design something from the ground up and, and something which is truly unique. And the first thing you notice about both these mics is the headstock. It's very, very different to anything that's out there. And also, there's no paint on these microphones. Now, in manufacturing in the UK and engineering these things from the ground up, we wanted to bring things that were unique and innovative to the market, but also we had to keep the costs down. And so there was a, we had half an eye on trying to do things that were novel and clever with cost in mind and also to improve microphone technology. Getting rid of the paint actually saves quite a lot on the, on the cost of a product, but you can only do that if you engineer it really well, which we have done, so the products look really beautiful. And the only thing that is um, required in finishing this microphone from the raw materials is the actual chassis and the badge. And the chassis um, is a solid stainless steel, two millimeter thick uh, cylinder, which we've then put in a, in a big tumbling machine with other bits of metal for about four hours, and it gives us this beautiful patinated finish. It's very, very hard wearing. It's, it's almost impossible to scratch. It doesn't fingerprint, and it'll look just as good in 10 years' time as it does today. So we've actually made an improvement from paint or, or nickel satin finishes because it won't scratch. It won't start looking shabby after a few years. It's much harder wearing, and we reduce the cost. Good engineering. And it's the same story, really, with the, uh, the headstock. When we were designing the microphones, we realized that a big problem with pretty much every microphone out there on the market is that the, the headstocks are fixed and rigid. So if they take a knock, then that knock's either going to transfer the energy through onto the inside of the mic and damage something, or if it does its job, its job properly, it's going to damage the headstock, and therefore you're going to have to replace the headstock because that'll be bent out of shape. But we've used a waveform spring, totally unique in microphones, and so you can give this a good hard whack. And I don't know whether you can see that, but you can bend the microphone completely out of shape and then simply put it back into shape again. And there's not many mics out there that say, oh, none. <laughs> um, so that was a, a real innovation in terms of protecting the, the capsule. And it also led us to do something different on the inside for the windshield as well. So this is a knitted stainless steel uh, mesh, which is, um, which is also very hard wearing. It works much better as a pop filter because it's got this kind of organic close weave to it. So you've got lots of different aperture sizes. And for the same restructural reason, it's a much better Faraday cage and it shields against a, a larger range of electromagnetic frequencies, which means that you get a cleaner signal from the capsule to the PCB. Um, and that kind of design element goes all the way through the microphone to the director stand mounting on the bottom and the way that we designed the PCB, which is also UK manufactured from the ground up. Um, then there's the sound of the microphones. Now, this is obviously the most important bit. Um, and the way that we developed that is pretty novel as well. We worked with a group of 33 of the top producers, engineers and artists in the UK doing double blind listening tests at every stage of the development of both of these microphones. And so at each stage that we would make changes to the voicing of the capsule or changes on the PCB, we would offer five different versions and for both microphones and do male and female vocals and then those would be sent out as numbered files for the panel to listen to and they would vote on those files and then we would make the we would develop the microphone in line with how they'd voted and in the end event we had the 33 people uh, listen to five files for spirit and origin with male and female vocal with our choice of capsules and then some other other variants in there as well and the same with the PCB and these are the two products that finally got chosen. And we, we think that a lot of the success of the brand is down to the fact that we developed the sound that way because everybody's raving about the sound and they, they do sound amazing for the money. Um, and having people that are at the top of the industry um, producing these things, helping us to produce these things has had a major impact on how they sound. So those, that's how we developed both microphones. And just a very quick bit on the differences between the two. They are actually, although they look similar, they're very different mics. They have different capsules, so they sound different. The PCBs are completely different, so there is a single PCB transformerless in the origin and a three PCBs and transformer balanced in the Spirit. So they are, they, they are very different sounding microphones. The Spirit um, has three polar patterns. It's omni, cardioid, and figure of eight, and it has a 10 and 20 dB pad, so it's good for high SPL applications like drums and saxophone as well. And then you've got a, a bass cut, an 80 hertz bass cut. And on the origin, you have a single polar pattern, a 10 dB pad, and a bass cut. Um, Sound-wise, the origin sounds incredibly natural, pure, smooth, completely unadulterated, 
people that use it say that it requires virtually no EQ and it's just a beautiful sounding mic for acoustic guitar and vocals but it's equally at home on piano and drum overheads it's actually a very versatile mic the spirit I would describe as a more kind of pop sounding microphone so if you want to pick out harmonic detail in an instrument that's the mic to go for if, or if you're doing something like more aggressive rap style or a more pop sound then the spirit is the one but between the two of them they give you a palette of sounds for just about every application and they're um, they also come with a three-year um, zero downtime free replacement warranty um, when you register your products from you so that's the Aston origin and the spirit and thank you very much for listening